What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we have been using iOS 17 since the first beta came out and obviously we are currently on iOS 17 beta 4 re-release that came out a little over a week ago. So I wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity to do somewhat of a overview and status check on how iOS 17 has been performing throughout this beta process. Obviously the most important piece is going to be where we're at right now in the whole rollout but holistically, I just want to say I think iOS 17 betas have been a wreck. I think that the way that everything has been implemented this year seems very half-assed and thrown together. Of course, it's a beta before you guys go in the comments and say you should know what to expect. We've been running betas for iOS 16, 15, 14. We've been doing it for years. And this one just doesn't feel as polished as it should at this point in the game. We're supposed to be getting iOS 17 in the next month or so with the new iPhone 15 series that's rumored to be announced on September 13th. That literally puts it almost just four weeks away. So having said all that, it is obviously heading in the right direction. The new features that they're implementing on this baby is great. I think name drop and all of these other things that they've tweaked and kind of polished is going to be a game changer for the iPhone. However, it is still a very minimal incremental iOS update for a large set, but I just want to let you guys know what to expect. A lot of you guys are going to be adding iOS 17 to an older device. For those of you that aren't updating to iOS 15, or excuse me, to the new iPhone 15 series devices on the 14, 13, 12, and down, expect some issues. Yes, we'll still be getting betas, and then even after iOS 17 rolls out, we'll get probably 17.0.1 to squash any bugs that weren't found once it is mass released and all of that stuff. But having said all that, iOS 17 still on our iPhone 14 Pro Max has been terrible as, as far as overheating and battery life specifically. There is still that age-old issue where you actually scroll up and the notification fix hasn't even been implemented with it just kind of glitching in and out before showing the notification in its oval. Little things like that have been in existence since iOS 16. It's just, it's, it's kind of confusing and concerning why they're focusing on new features without fine tuning some of the old ones. There was a saying back in the day too, how smooth iOS was, Android wasn't even remotely close to being on that same level. Like I showed in other videos on the channel, our Pixel Fold and actually Android 14 in general, running on some other devices and even Android 13 has been very polished and looks really, really good. Beyond that though, this has been devastating on our battery health to say the least too. Like I've actually shown before and talked about to no extent, uh, the battery health on my device, and I'll actually go ahead and pull it up for you guys right now. Um, well, I would if it didn't just freeze. Again, signifying another bug. Let's see, nope. Let me close it down and open it back up you could see exactly what I'm talking about. For a fourth beta, for one that has been publicly released, it, oh, there it goes, it loaded. Uh, this is just not where it should be at at this point. But anyways, back to what we were saying. If you guys take a look at this, our battery health is down to 86% at this point, and that is with 11 months of usage only. That's kind of concerning. It's definitely a questionable reason behind it. Since battery health has become a thing, yes, you can say optimized charging is off. However, people that work at different hours or throughout the night or night shifts or, or split shifts and stuff like that, that is not an ideal solution because it doesn't charge your battery to 100% until it learns your charging pattern. For instance, if you wake up at 7 a.m. every day, the phone knows to charge to 100 by 7 a.m. If you're waking up needing your phone at different times in the day, it is not a feasible solution, so that's something that you really can't utilize. Uh, I spoke to Apple, actually, in regards to the battery health issue, and they said it is due to iOS 17 as a main contributor. The betas, I should say. Now, the caveat to that rationale is this has only been out for a couple months. So what happened for the prior six or seven months beforehand? What caused that battery drain on the 14 series? I don't know, I'm not alone. I've looked on Twitter, we followed everyone else and seen what everyone else has said, and sure enough, a lot of you guys are having the same issue with the iPhone 14 series, heavy users and casual users alike. But take that for what you want. I just wanted to get that out there that Apple knows it is an issue and they are blaming it if you're running iOS 17 betas. 
partially on that. So they said this is normal behavior, they will not replace the device. You can just need to uninstall uh, the developer betas or the public betas if you want it. I don't know if that's the right solution or the right answer from these reps, but just wanted to pass that along to you guys as well. So yeah, quick little rambling video. I don't want to go on any more of a tangent. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully iOS 17 beta 5 that we should get in another five days or so uh, will improve on this. So that should be next Tuesday. We should be seeing hopefully a substantially improved update. As I sit here, just from showing you guys a couple of these screens, this phone is actually getting hot as it is, not even, you know, being in action. So it's very shocking and surprising here. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you experienced all this? Comment down below and let me know your issues and struggles with the iPhone 14 series or iOS beta, iOS 17 betas in general. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.